Hello and welcome to your Astrological Vibrations for Monday, January 9th, 2016 by Gaia Blooming. I am Mimi and our energy... Did I say 2016? I meant 2017! I'm going to catch myself at that. Anyways, <laughs> our energy mantra for today is I am worthy of showing up for myself. And today we have the moon in Gemini. The moon in Gemini is making several connections to the energies in Pisces. Um, and this moon in Gemini is bringing us closer into this full moon realm. Now I do want to mention that tomorrow, so Tuesday, we have the sun squaring Uranus. And so that sun squaring Uranus energy is tightening us into this T-square, and that moon going into Cancer is going to make that T-square into cardinal cross energy. And so we've got, we've got some push and pull going on. And I think this moon may play a piece of this. So this moon in Gemini. Moon in Gemini brings the energy of feelings and emotions, which is the moon, to the energy, the element of thought, which is that Gemini energy. And so we have a mix and melding of thoughts and feelings. Now this is an interesting thing to me. I actually have my moon in the third house. So third house is that Gemini energy. So I have this energy always in me. And what I found with this, and I see over and over in myself and others who have this placement, and whenever this comes up, is that our thoughts are so major <laughs> that they can influence everything, including our feelings. And one of the things that I've found is because I think something and then I feel it because it's intermelded within me, then I then I think it's true because I'm feeling it. It's not just like a thought that I don't take seriously. It's become true because I feel it. And so I'm feeling this energy, especially as this moon in Gemini is meeting up with these Pisces elements of don't get caught up in the thought and making it so because you thought it and then you felt it. You don't, it's like, it's getting beyond the thoughts. It's getting beyond the consciousness of the thoughts. Let's see if this makes sense. The consciousness of the thoughts into real authentic consciousness that lives within you. So it's really, it's a connection. It's this union energy. I keep talking about this union energy, uniting your chakras, coming to this oneness, to this light within yourself. And that's going to help all through this week as we work into this intensity with this push, pull, square, T-square energy that's going to be coming up and going on with us. So the moon in Gemini is meeting with Venus. It's meeting with Neptune and it's meeting with Mars and all of these energies have that square so this moon is squaring these things now some of these are happening in our sleep so some of these places that we need to bring some awareness into that consciousness within this may come up in our sleep it may come up through our dream world so pay attention to your dreams even if they may not make sense I had some really weird dreams last night they didn't make sense initially but they they brought me little nuggets of truth and as I keep you know letting them come forward. They're bringing me more, more of this depth of myself. Now all of this energy, like I said, you may feel that resistance, but it's interesting because it's leading to that moon connecting with Uranus. And that moon connecting with Uranus is connecting us to the sun connecting to Uranus tomorrow. And so this Uranus energy always wants to liberate us. And this Uranus energy, as it meets up with this moon in a happy connection, a sextile connection, it said, I it says, the universe says, get beyond what you think you should think. You know, sometimes even this thinking that we get trapped into thinking and then feeling is because we think that we should think it, because it will be more powerful, because this shows us that we're doing the right thing kind of thing. Get beyond what you think you need to think and get into what is real for you. There's so many shoulds in the world, including like how you should think and how you should show up. You know, there's, it's interesting, this is bringing up a lot of partnership stuff. This may be because of this Venus connection. This may be because this T-square energy, you know, is working with the Aries and Libra energy. And, you know, that's all coming up, the I versus we kind of stuff if we're in this tug of war. But one of the things that also came up from the universe it said very clearly to me, and I wrote this down three times this morning, I can still love you and be amazingly good to myself. And so remember that, holding that thought and whatever this, this is, whether it's I can still love this job and be amazingly good to myself, if it's I can still love my family and be amazingly good to myself, I can still love you french fries <laughs> and be amazingly good to myself, whatever this may be, wherever this resistance is, you can still love this thing and still be worthy of showing up for yourself and being good for yourself. 
practice radical acts of self-love, another one of my favorite things. It keeps pulling us into the center in this energy, coming into your center, coming into your center, the silence, the union within yourself. There is intensity. This intensity is taking us into the light. Look at this energy. And the, to me, this energy, like it's such the T-square. This is what the T-square looks like in this thing. But it's taking us into the light. It's taking us into the light of our center. There's also some change energy going on. I've got the change in the schizophrenia cards. So it's that push and pull over what you think that you should think. Or I will show that I'm strong if I think this thing and do this thing. Come into your center. What is true for you? Tune in. Only you can say what is true for you. Now, I also want to mention in this that we have Mercury in Sagittarius, finishing up in Sagittarius. It's at 29 degrees Sagittarius again, preparing to move back into Capricorn on Thursday, but it shifts to this 29th degree. So this really is this aim. This is another part of this intensity. Look at that arrow, taking aim for the light, the light of what is true and authentic to you. Only you can decide for this. So I have from the cards, I have the Hermit card. And I think this is saying, like, it's not like you have to get away from everybody and be alone. Moon and Gemini is pretty social. It wants to talk to people. But to get right and get set on your center, it's like seek solitude to focus intently on your inner life and serve your personal creativity. Oh, not that card. Although that card, but this card, <laughs> turning in. Shadow attributes, withdraws from society out of fear or negative judgment from others, refusing to help those in need. So do take some time alone. But, you know, don't don't just don't just run away from what's going on. I've also got, and I love this, 29 degrees Sagittarius, Alchemist, light attribute, transformation of base motives, goals into golden wisdom. Let's turn whatever's going on into gold. The gold that comes from you, from the source energy that you are. The shadow attribute, misuse of power and knowledge that comes through spiritual practice. You know, it always comes back to you. What are you doing? How are you living your life? Come back to you. Come back to your center. Come back to your center. This is where the success is. This is the star card, even though it looks like a moon. And as we build into this full moon, come into your center and you will know how to move. There's not going to be that question, should I go this way or that way, if you're connected to your center. All this energy may be feeling a little bit like that. Get beyond what you think you should think. Come into the center. You're worthy of showing up for yourself. Okay, that's it. I've got my sales still going. I said I'd leave it up a little bit past Mercury retrograde. It's going to be shifting sometime this week, though. So if this is something you want to do, if you want to work with me for 2017, now's the time to reach out. So have a beautiful day, and I will see you tomorrow. Namaste.